ഹുസലി <tik> أي الأمن أحب إلى الله عز وجل قال الصلاة على وقتها قلت ثم أي قال ثم بر الوالدين قلت ثم أي قال ثم الجهاد في سبيل الله صدق الله مولانا العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفكه قولي ربنا يسر ولا تعسر وتم بالخير وبك نستعين يا فتاح ربي زدني علما اللهم صل وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم Welcome my dear respected viewers to another session of the Prophet's Way Insha'Allah by the will of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will start to speak about the rights of human beings we will speak insha'Allah about how we need to deal with the human beings and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us certain guidelines my dear respected brothers and sisters how you and I need to treat one another and in dealing with human beings we will begin with the topic of birrul walidain and kindness to parents my dear respected brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has given us certain guidelines and certain commands with regards to our parents we need to know them we need to learn them and we need to honor our parents and treat them rightly my dear respected brothers and sisters may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq whereby we can implement his commands follow the sunnah of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because surely from amongst the many people who we have rights upon or they have rights upon us is are those of our parents my dear respected brothers and sisters and we have to be very worried that if we do not treat them kindly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can treat us in a very harsh manner in this world as well as in the hereafter Ghuraba 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 Got into an accident or just need to repair your vehicle then worry no more Visit Eric Alliance on Automotive and Transport Services Limited, number 141 Craignish Road, Princess Town. They do full professional body works using the latest and best equipment necessary to get the job done right. They also offer transport services. So visit Eric Alliance on Limited, number 141 Craignish Road, Princess Town, or call 620-2873 or 655-2873. Mali's Restaurant Minimart and Poultry Depot conveniently located at the corner of Juman Street and Southern Main Road, California. At Maddie's, we specialize in mouth-watering curry foods from Monday to Thursday and barbecue on Fridays and Saturdays. We also have the best prices in dry goods and poultry products, including halal chicken and duck. Open hours every day from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Contact Maddie's Restaurant Minimart and Poultry Depot at 744-1857. 
Nice Brown Products Limited is your one-stop shop for your top quality meats, peas, beans, canned products, household and laundry items. You can now enjoy our new beef and lamb patties, smoked beef hot dogs, smoked beef and lamb sausages, as well as our premium chicken burgers. Let Nicer help you prepare your meals with our splendid line of food products and much more. So visit us today at 23 Biocal Road, Conopia, 665-3078, 665-3079. Visit Saudi restaurants to choose from our local and continental breakfast menu, Italian, Mexican, French and Caribbean dishes. You can also try our a la carte menu for a wide variety of grilled foods, steaks, buffalo wings, burgers and much, much more. Not forgetting our great tasting desserts and also we cater for any possible event. So take a trip today and visit Saudi restaurant, number 106 Egypt, Main Road, Point 14 or call 335-4001-793-2837. Welcome back, my dear respected viewers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us as human beings from amongst the many creations that He has created. And you and I need to understand that we have guidelines to follow. And if we follow the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it would make our living on the face of the earth very easy and it would make our living in the grave very easy it would make our living in the hereafter very easy. And my dear respected brothers and sisters, as we mentioned before, we cannot leave it to our own opinions with regards to how we have to behave. Otherwise, our emotions can get the better of us. Otherwise, we will do things that we do not want to do and do not want to say and we will only realize after we have done it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been very kind to us by the sending of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He has taught us how to control our anger. He has taught, taught us how to observe patience. He practically lived it, my dear respected brothers and sisters. And you and I need to look into his life and we would understand, inshallah, what we need to do. As we said, we will be dealing with the topic Firstly, of kindness to parents. Who are our parents? Are our parents are the persons whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed on the face of the earth, my dear respected brothers and sisters, as a means of our coming onto the face of the earth. And this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran has commanded us that we need to be obedient to them. We need to be thankful to them. Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used them as a means of our coming on the face of the earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not just allow us to be created like chickens just come out of an egg, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused us to come out of the wombs of our mothers. And this had something before. This initiated why, whereby our parents, they had relations and this is also something, as we have mentioned, that we in Islam, we will get reward for these types of relations in marriage because we could have done it otherwise. We could have done it in a wrong way. So doing it in a halal way, in, 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 the, in wedlock, doing it in a manner that the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has given us guidelines about, inshallah, it will be rewarding, my dear respected brothers and sisters. As a matter of fact, even in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us guidelines with regards to relations, subhanallah. So this is something that even we need to do in a correct way and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes to come forth, subhanallah, this pleasurable act, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes to come forth when He wills it, a child, subhanallah. 
a child. And this is the process that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has on the face of the earth for human beings to multiply and multiply and multiply, my dear respected brothers and sisters. And this is the way that is going to happen. This is the means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to use for people to come on the face of the earth, my dear respected brothers and sisters, from now until Yawm al-Qiyamah. From now until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroys the world. And we have to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used this means. So we have to firstly be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our existence. And secondly, we have to show that honor to our mothers and fathers, my dear respected brothers and sisters. We have to show that honor to our mothers and fathers. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حُسْنًا And we have enjoined on mankind kindness to his parents. We have enjoined upon mankind kindness to his parents because our parents, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used them as a means for us coming on the face of the earth. And subhanAllah, the love that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he places in our hearts for our parents and our children is more than will be there for other people. Hence the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and why the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he mentioned a hadith, he said, لَا يُؤْمِنُ أَحَدُكُمْ حَتَّى أَكُونَ أَحَبَّ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ وَالِدِهِ وَوَلَدِهِ وَالنَّاسِ يَجْمَعِينَ None of you can be a true believer until I become more beloved to him, mewalidihi, than his father, which is inclusive of his mother, wawaladihi, and his children, nasi ajma'een, and the entire mankind altogether. Why did the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam use this sequence? About telling us we have to be preferential with regards to love for the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam over these people. It is because generally speaking, people will love the human kind, the, the appearance firstly, and their children, subhanallah, and their near and their dear ones, their relatives, and then they will love other people, my dear respected brothers and sisters. So even with regards to the explanation of the love, the types of love that we have, they have said that type of involuntary love, involuntary love that we have for our parents. As long as we know this is dad, this is mom, we love them, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Subhanallah, this indeed is a ni'mat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we love them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who has placed that in there. We may be bitter, we may be angry, but love, subhanallah, you cannot move that out of the heart easily, my dear respected brothers and sisters. And this has been explained as an involuntary type of love. What does that mean? It is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed in our hearts. We have no control over it, subhanallah. We have no control over it. And my dear respected viewers, subhanallah, we have to love our parents and we have to treat them kindly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has stated that we have to treat them kindly. In one tradition of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was asked, which action is best? Which action is best? He said, As-salatu ala waqtiha. The first answer he gave is salah at its appointed time. Thumma ayyun, the sahabi who was asking the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which action is best, O Messenger of Allah? He said, Thumma birrul walidain. After salah, then birrul walidain. Kindest appearance. Kultu thumma ayyun. The sahabi said, O Messenger of Allah, then which action is best? He said, ثُمَّ الْجِهَادُ فِي سَبِيلَ اللَّهِ Then jihad, struggling, fighting in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear respected brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has shown us by means of His Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what are great actions in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are great actions in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And subhanallah, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he firstly answered with salah ala waqtiha, salah upon its timing, subhanallah. Even people of the previous nations, they used to perform salah in a different mode and in a different way from our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Certain things were similar, but my dear respected brothers and sisters, everyone used to perform salah. 
And subhanallah, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, finally, he came and he completed salah. And salah is a great gift upon the ummah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Which action is best? The Sahabi, he was given the first answer about salah. And understand, my dear respected brothers and sisters, the attitude of the Sahabas. They wanted to compete with one another with regards to doing good deeds. So they wanted to know which deed is the best so they can do that good deed. So they can do that good deeds. We see the attitude of the Sahabas, my dear respected brothers and sisters, something that we have to inculcate in our lives, whereby we, my dear respected brothers and sisters, we will inshallah compete in good actions. We will compete in good actions. So this Sahabi, he was asked which action is, he asked the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which action is best? Nabi alayhi salatu wa sallam said, Salah ala waqtiha. And salah, subhanallah, we can speak so much of, of salah to make it short, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Salah is the first thing we will be reckoned for on the day of judgment. Ghuraba, 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 ghuraba. Got into an accident or just need to repair your vehicle? Then worry no more. Visit Eric Alliance on Automotive and Transport Services Limited, number 141 Craignish Road, Princess Town. They do full professional body works using the latest and best equipment necessary to get the job done right. They also offer transport services. So visit Eric Alliance Unlimited, number 141 Craignish Road, Princess Town. Or call 620-2873 or 655-2873. Mali's Restaurant Minimat and Poultry Depot. Conveniently located at the corner of Juman Street and Southern Main Road, California. At Maddie's, we specialize in mouth-watering curry foods from Monday to Thursday and barbecue on Fridays and Saturdays. We also have the best prices in dry goods and poultry products, including halal chicken and duck. Open hours every day from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Contact Maddie's Restaurant Minimat and Poultry Depot at 744-1857. Nicer Brand Products Limited is your one-stop shop for your top quality meats, peas, beans, canned products, household and laundry items. You can now enjoy our new beef and lamb patties, smoked beef hot dogs, smoked beef and lamb sausages, as well as our premium chicken burgers. Let Nicer help you prepare your meals with our splendid line of food products and much more. So visit us today at 23 Biocal Road, Conopia, 665-3078, 665-3079. Visit Saudi restaurant. Choose from our local and continental breakfast menu. Italian, Mexican, French and Caribbean dishes. You can also try our a la carte menu for a wide variety of grilled foods, steaks, buffalo wings, burgers and much, much more. Not forgetting our great tasting desserts and also we cater for any possible event. So take a trip today and visit Saudi restaurant, number 106 Egypt, Main Road, Point 14 or call 335 793 2837 Welcome back to the Prophet's Way. We were speaking about, my dear respected brothers and sisters, about the eagerness of a Sahabi at the time of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to question the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about which action is best. The Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he gave him the answer, my dear respected brothers and sisters, that the first greatest action in the sight of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is Salatu Ala Waqtiha. Then he said, he then said kindness to parents, my dear respected brothers and sisters. And subhanallah, as we were mentioning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used our parents as a means of coming on the face of the earth. And we as human beings have to understand that we depend on each other on the face of the earth. 
we cannot do things on our own and our independency and our dependency sorry our dependency on our parents shows us that we need to a greater extent be dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we could not have fed ourselves we could not have created ourselves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator Allah is the independent and we as human beings sometimes mashallah we say that we are independent and that is only to a certain extent whereby a child may move out and he will start to earn his living so it is said he is independent from his father's roof my dear respected brothers and sisters but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah he is the one who is solely independent no one can be independent like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wants us to understand as human beings that we are not totally independent and we depended on our parents when we came on the face of the earth we depended on our parents and subhanallah we need to understand because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen them to be our parents the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the second action most beloved in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is birrul walidain kindness to parents and we need to acknowledge that these people are deserving of merit on account of being our parents my dear respected brothers and sisters and we need to be kind to them we will go through different ahadith that even shows us my dear respected brothers and sisters that even if our parents are non-muslims we need to be kind to them even if our parents are non-muslims we need to be kind to them even if our parents are transgressors we need to be kind to them of course we may not obey them if they ask us to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has also mentioned لا طاعة لمخلوق في معصية الخالق there is no obedience to the Creator at the disobedience of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but my dear respected brothers and sisters generally speaking we need to obey them in the rightful commands that they ask us to fulfill inshallah so when the Sahabi asked which action is best Nabi alayhi salatu was salam he said Birr al and then the third question that the Sahabi asked, Ay, thumma ayyun, which action is best? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Jihad fi sabil Allah, struggling in the way of Allah, fighting for the upliftment of the kalima la ilaha illallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the heavens and the earth, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is deserving, my dear respected brothers and sisters, to dictate the pace of what should be done on the heavens and the earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He wants the humankind to establish His law on the face of the earth, my dear respected brothers and sisters. And we need to struggle in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in whatever way we can. Preaching, teaching, subhanallah. We need to preach the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to teach about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to give the da'wah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And struggling in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has so many different ways, my dear respected brothers and sisters. So we were speaking about we will be dealing with the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the rights of the humankind. And this is why we mentioned this tradition. The first tradition Imam Bukhari rahmatullahi alayhi has mentioned in his Adab al-Mufrad, has mentioned in his Adab al-Mufrad with regards to etiquettes and adabs, how we need to deal with people, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Authentic traditions of Imam Bukhari rahmatullahi alayhi in his Adab al-Mufrad, he mentions in the second chapter, Bab al-Birr al-Um, section dealing with the kindness to the mother. Kindness to the mother. And we will bring the hadith that he has brought with regards to a sahabi again. With his zeal and his courage, he asked the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Messenger of Allah, because again he wanted to compete in goodness. Man abarru, who from amongst the humankind is deserving of our righteous behavior? The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ummuka, your mother, kultu man abarru. He asked the question again, okay, you told me my mother. Then whom? The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam again replied, Ummuka, kultu man abarru. Second time he said, your mother. Then the, the sahabi asked again, who now after our mother is deserving of righteous behavior? Nabi alayhi salatu wa sallam said, Ummuka, your mother again. 
Then the Sahabi again asked, Man abarru? Who deserves our, our righteous and good behavior? Then the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Abaka, thumma al-akrab, fal akrab. Then your father, then whoever is close, and then whoever is close, my dear respected brothers and sisters. The commentators of this tradition, my dear respected brothers and sisters, have mentioned to us that Allah, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is teaching us that our mothers, deserve more affection than our fathers because of the nature that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created our mothers as opposed to our fathers. Our fathers are men. They are strong. If we do not love them, they will live. But our mothers, my dear respected brothers and sisters, they are soft. They need our kindness and they need our compassion. Not that we, do not, we can disrespect our fathers and not that our fathers do not leave, need our love, my dear respected brothers and sisters. But understand, inshallah, with regards to the explanation of this hadith of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the commentators have mentioned that our mothers are more in need of our compassion. Our mothers are more in need of our help than our fathers. Our fathers are men. They can go outside there and make it on, our, on their own. But our mothers, they need our help. They need our support, especially when they get old. As a matter of fact, subhanAllah, in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that subhanAllah, weakness upon weakness, our mothers have taken care of us. Weakness upon weakness, our mothers have taken care of us. May their respected brothers and sisters the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught us about being kind to our mothers. Being kind to our mothers. And he answered three times. And subhanallah, mothers is something we cannot replace. The whole world understands the love of a mother. The whole world understands the love of a child that he has to his mother, my dear respected brothers and sisters. No matter what a person does, this is something, an involuntary type of love that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed in our hearts. Whether you like it or not, it is there, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Once a person knows this is my mother, this is my father, he has that love for them, my dear respected viewers. So our parents... We have to be kind to them. Our parents, we have to be kind to them, my dear respected brothers and sisters. And the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has answered three times who is deserving of our righteous behavior? Our mothers. Who is de be deserving of our righteous behavior? Our mothers even more than our fathers. And as we continue in the ahadith, of Imam Bukhari in Adab al-Mufrad and we will be bringing more incidents that occurred at the time of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and otherwise inshallah to show us my dear respected brothers and sisters how we need to be kind to our parents. Inshallah we will be dealing with stories and traditions that teaches us in our day-to-day -day li living how we need to be kind to our parents, my dear respected brothers and sisters, how we need to treat them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after commanding us, ihsana, after commanding us about being obedient to Him, He tells us about being kind to our parents. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my dear respected brothers and sisters, give us the tawfiq whereby we can be kind to our parents. Join us again for another session of the Prophet's Way, whereby, inshallah, we will be discussing more on this topic.